Hello, I'm Anel Kushnil, VP of Technology at Algosec. In the next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how Algosec can be used to automate connectivity management in a next-generation data center based on Cisco ACI. So let's have a look at our environment. So we have our data center managed by Cisco ACI. The APIC is managing the spine and leaf uh, switches. We potentially also have some firewalls within the data center these can be defined as layer 4 to layer 7 services, either Cisco firewalls or any other vendors uh, controlling the east-west traffic. In many cases we will also have parameter firewalls around the data center, again of the different vendors or maybe further upstream. In addition we have cloud infrastructure, so we have cloud security groups protecting our Amazon or Azure workloads. And connecting to all these pieces in the network we have Algosec. Algosec can connect to all these uh, different vendors and platforms through their APIs and then provide end-to-end -end visibility across your entire network. This visibility can then be leveraged either for understanding what's going on, troubleshooting, making changes, uh, operational activities, etc. but also for risk analysis and compliance. In addition, Algosec also has a workflow automation part which allows automatic provisioning consistently across the different vendors and platforms. We will soon see that part in action, specifically in regards to Cisco ACI. On top of all that, we have our business context layer, business flow, which serves as a repository of the connectivity requirements of each application. This repository can then be used either by application developers or application owners to get some visibility into their uh, specific applications connectivity, and also things like risks, compliance, vulnerabilities, etc. in the context of their own application. But it is also extremely important for the network and firewall teams to see the business context of everything they do. Whenever they touch a firewall rule, shut down a server, perform maintenance on a firewall, etc., they can easily see what would be the business impact, what are the relevant business applications that will be affected, etc. This concept is very much aligned with ACI's application-centric approach. So let's see how Algosec can be used for automatic provisioning of connectivity within the data center. So this is my ACI environment. Under this tenant, uh, ASProd1, I have created the billing application. This application has two servers and some clients connecting to the web server. And let's say we want to create some new connectivity in this application from the web server into the app server. So let's create this change in Algosec. We'll create a new change request and let's choose the right networks for this change request. Alternatively I could use predefined names or the EPG names from ACI itself. And let's say we need to port 135 and we'll create a change request. Note that I created this uh, change request from the UI, but alternatively I could have uh, uploaded a CSV file with a list of flows or used the APIs Algosec provides. Okay, so I see that Algosec has detected that the ACI uh, is relevant for this change and needs to be updated, specifically the ASProd1 tenant. In this case, it was an internal east-west traffic change. If it was something external, then probably some parameter firewalls would have also been picked. Let's continue with that. And now, before actually committing the change, Algosec will perform a risk check to verify that the requested change adheres to the, to the pre-approved security policy, including either out-of-the-box uh, best practices or a customized company security policy. In this case, we can see that the port we chose, 135, is considered risky it's uh, MSRPC, and it's, it's considered a risk even with between internal networks. We will choose to approve it anyway in this case. Next step is to implement the change. Algosec now calculates how exactly this change needs to be implemented, whether something needs to be changed on the ACI itself, and how. And we can see that uh, a work order was generated. Apparently we need to create a new filter for the TCP-135 uh, port. And we also need to add a new contract under this tenant. And this new contract will use the existing uh, web EPG as the consumer and the existing app EPG as the provider. And uh, of course, utilize our newly created filter. 
and as the next step I will hit implement on device and now Algosec will go ahead and push this change to APIC uh, via the northbound APIs okay implementation is incomplete let's have a look and back to our APIC here we can see the newly created contract it's using our newly created filter on TCP 135 allowing access from the web server to the application server Note that I did all this uh, step by step just to show the different parts of the workflow but in reality this can be defined as a zero touch workflow where everything is happening automatically within minutes and it will only stop in case some predefined condition was met things like a high risk was detected so before implementing the change you want someone to manually approve it or something of that nature. Also note that if other firewalls were involved in the process either within the data center or on the perimeter or potentially cloud security groups those would have been picked by Algosec as well and similarly changes would have been pushed to their management as well and with that we will conclude our demonstration thank you